<coughs> Good morning people and welcome to uh, Boating Audits again. Uh, BA here, a uh, bit of a shout out for uh, other auditors I'm going to do here. Just say thank you very much for uh, doing your thing and uh, showing us photographers, filmers, vloggers, auditors how to go about it, helping us un how to understand what's happening, what our rights are, which is why I'm out here just doing a boating audit. Um, I do it a little bit different. I don't want to be in people's faces. I'm not up for uh, provocation, stuff like that. I just want to show how it is. Show how enjoyable it can be. So, um, yeah, shout out to BA, BA Auditing. Absolutely wonderful stuff, it does. And all the other auditors. If you search from online, you come across some. Coley Burke's quite an interesting guy. Anyway, I'm just going for a little walk this morning. Uh, we're near Semington, which is a lovely little village. A pub. I don't think there's, I think there's only one pub. And uh, look at this view here. Yeah, nice sunny day. Yesterday was very gloomy. And that was after a nice sunny day, so hopefully we're gonna have a nice long sunny day here. So, uh, looks like the hedgerow needs a bit looking after. A little bit overgrown, but I know there's uh, certain times of the year that you're not allowed to cut hedges due to wildlife. Um, the bank, not too bad. It's got the drop off down there. You can see it clearly there, where it ends up getting a bit boggy, but it doesn't look too bad. Offside is fairly neat as well. We want it looking wild, but not overgrown. All right, this one. So I'm walking down here, and we've got um, a few things to show you. But uh, I don't think we'll get any police chases or racing boats, not today. It's too nice and calm. Let me show you another view around here into the sunlight. Let's get an arty photo. So, yeah, all very nice. Yeah, quite a bit of wildlife about. That's half the fun of being out here. Hello pups. You're right.
boating dogs, they're the best. They just know the lifestyle to have. They're usually a bit worried when they first get on the boat, but within a day, I think most dogs work it out and have a lovely time. Have a lovely time. Okay, so just down here, Mooring, which is near a swing bridge, uh, the farmer's a lovely guy. He, um, if you have a nice word with him, let him know what you're doing. He allows people to park in the field. Quite amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Um, I mean, it helps to keep the lane down there clear for his vehicles to go by. But uh, he does it very nicely. Morning, all right? How are you doing? See, these, these dogs, they know what they've got to do. <laughs> a little hello and say, you know, what are you doing? And then they go, all right. I just see a boat going by there. An event. <laughs> So, um, yeah, as we say, we're coming up to the uh, swing bridge. We've got some walkers going down here, jogger, dog, cyclist. Everyone's enjoying it on this really glorious day. Now, so the boat can moor up over there just before the bridge. And then you send one new crew up to open it up. This guy's actually uh, done it. Well, sometimes uh, these things are loose. Yeah. So you just undo the Bolton chain. Lay it down so everyone can see it and not trip over it. Go on, over you go. Go on, quick, quick, quick. Go on, come on, look, over you go. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, it's all right. Come on. There you go. Dog training as well, I do. So there, so. He's done a semi more up coming out. And so you just got to. Go to the bar, get maximum leverage, and away you go. And when you see it opening and you've got a boat coming along, and then there's a boat coming the other way. So effectively they get a free passage. Although it's nice and courteous to offer to close it when the other boat goes through. But they're all trying to work out who can go first. Yeah, he's given the signal. Come on through. And there you go. Right, I hope you don't mind. I'm doing a YouTube video. Oh, right. Yeah, no. All right. Uh, just so you know what it's about. Yeah. Uh, just to show the workings and things that go on in the canal. Right. So say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, it's called Boating Audit. So I don't know when it will be up, but over the next few months. Might even be up tonight, I don't know. <laughs> it's just literally showing how things are on the canal. Well, I hope so. I want to get loads of hits and subscribe. Subscribe! Hit! <laughs> so, look at this view here. Oh, it was him. He's the one that's done all the work. So... This is a holiday boat going through. All right, everybody. Say hi to YouTube. You enjoying your holiday? Sorry? You enjoying your holiday? Yeah. We enjoy this holiday every year for 
Oh, right, yeah. 12 years now. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely. Well, you need to subscribe to my boating audit on YouTube. I won't. Boating audit. Right. I'm advertising today like crazy. This is... <laughs> So, no more boats coming down. You always try and do a checkout. See, that's exactly what we want is kindness, courtesy, consideration, and meeting people. <laughs> And a good, nice, calm speed. We always like a calm speed. I thought about the speed thing uh, earlier today. And I actually thought, uh, how fast should you be going? The limit is four knots. So I say, um, any speed is too much. And it's uh, the idea of, if you're going so slow, you're still wearing the bank, you're still moving boats you're still pulling pins out that little bit and it 100 boats that mounts up and that's just the way it is but you know you have to make a judgment and uh what should be happening is you slow down drop the revs about five boats lengths before you come across a boat i mean this is not a rule or policy it's just consideration so you can uh Just judge it for yourself, be considerate, you know. When you see rings that people are moored up to, that's not too bad. If you see boggy ground on the bank, well, the pins will come out dead easy. So um, just go as slow as you can. My personal rule policy is to actually, uh, if I pull someone's boat out and the pins come out, I stop and uh, repin it which is great hassle for me, but that's just what I do. So, uh, about going through. This is uh, the guys that have actually opened up the swing bridge. No, well, well, it's him, it's all him. I'm just filming. Day release. Oh yeah, <laughs> always good. Take it back tonight. Yeah. So now he's got the lone job of shutting the thing, which to get it started, it's just slow and constant. That's it. Sometimes you'll come across these swing bridges and they will not move. You need about three or four people. Uh, this one has actually had some work done on it last year because it's getting stuck a lot and seems to be working pretty good. Aren't they going to pick you up then? Yeah, I'll get them further up the street. Yeah, making you walk for your living. Yeah. So it just uh, comes in, try not to bang it on the end. Look at this, it's perfect, perfect stuff. And then you come back across and uh, just do these. Now, a lot of these uh, screens, you know, usually you just leave it a little bit loose so the next person can undo it by hand, but yeah, sometimes they get done up tight. Thank you. All right, nice one. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, boating audit. Boating audit. Boating audit. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so we'll take a little walk across here. A little bouncy. So, the handle you grab, sometimes you look at this and you think, which way is it? But usually there's a little handle or a little clue. And I swing around here. Um, always got to watch your footing. Winter time, oh, you know, you're pulling that bridge.